Fuck your mask up, bitch. A day after masks became mandatory in all indoor public spaces across Quebec, the province is reporting the highest increase in COVID-19 cases since early June. Health authorities say 166 more people tested positive, while Ontario also saw a slight uptick today with 164 new cases. As CTV's Vanessa Lee reports, not everyone is willing to accept the new rules to keep the numbers down. At rallies across the country, people gathered in close proximity without face coverings on to make their point. These Calgarians say they don't want their city to be the next to make masks mandatory. I believe in choice, and if I choose not to, that's my decision. I don't believe there's scientific evidence to prove that they're as effective as people are being led to believe they are. There were several anti-mask protests across the country this weekend as the debate continues over whether masks should be mandatory. You telling me that you actually lied to us back in April, but now I'm supposed to believe you? It's a joke. We should be allowed to choose what we want to do with our bodies. So you can see just how many people flooded the streets of Montreal. They were had various reasons for opposing mask regulations that went from their own liberty, so the idea of it's their own body, their own choice, and the government should stay away from that, to various a disbelief of actual the severityness of the COVID-19 pandemic, believing conspiracy theories that it perhaps isn't as bad as it is being reported. Ottawa reported 19 new cases yesterday, the highest one-day spike since May. The medical officer of health says parties are to blame for about half of them, infecting young adults in their 20s. People not physically distancing, people gathering in greater numbers outside of their household or their social circle. They're related to people who are working while sick, who have symptoms of illness and they're still going to work or they're still hosting a party. 